Okay, we're talking about people now. We're talking about Edward. Um, you think it's strange that Edward would not speak to you on MSN. Yeah. And it has been said by Edward that he doesn't want to speak to you on MSN because he doesn't benefit him. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. no, he gains nothing from he it. You want to know what he would get out of it. And I said, you'd be able to tell me your story or something like that. It's almost exactly like that. Well, That's all you got? You're not ready to talk to me, or something was his response to that. Well, um, I'm a little surprised at that, because um, what I got from Edward was that, um, you know, he, he seems to catalog things that you say. He seems to be cataloging all these things that you say. And if he has no real interest in you and communicating with you, why is he doing that? Yeah. And also... And here's another thing. I, I would like to have this answer done. I'm not just, you know, taking a piss, taking the piss from, you know, Edward here. I'm just, uh, uh, at Edward? Oh, man, that's such a strange expression that I just used. It's kind of not used much anymore, at least over here. Um, anyway, I, I really want to know because he's got, if you're, okay, Edward, if you're interested in honesty with Ian, um, and you say that you have nothing to gain from it, but that you post the things that Ian says to warn others about Ian. Wouldn't it be more profitable for you to communicate with Ian and maybe get the idea across to Ian? But the thing is that he, he thinks that... Um, uh, he thinks that you're not going to listen. I, I don't know, maybe. I think he's afraid of getting called out being out or whatever. No, no, no. I seriously do think he doesn't believe... He really believes you're not going to listen. I think that that's, that's really it. How... I mean, that's fe a total fear-based... Like, how could he know if I'm going to listen or not? There's no way to... Like, wh who would think that someone's not going to listen to them? I think it's because... He, um, I would think that it has something to do with the fact that he's made many comments to you and you didn't address his comments in the spirit that they were made. Well, I, I made a video where I included him and other people about their idiocy or their criticisms, their extreme criticisms. He's not really an idiot, he's just an extreme critic. Um, and point him out, but I don't know if he wants more attention or what. It's like, dude, I'm not going to fucking give you a bunch of attention because you're a bitch. Like, if you want to talk and you want attention, let's do a one-on-one -on -one talk. That's my, that's the whole point. I really don't, re I really don't understand. I mean, at one point, he was so convincing in a convert. you know, he was so convincing that he was... Um, actually, he was so convinced that you had this na narcissistic personality disorder thing that um, he started collecting videos about narcissistic personality disorder. I don't know that you fit that description. I don't don't think so. Mm, not really. Do you feel that you lack empathy? Well, I don't have. I mean, it just depends on the level. Like I've just landed on a scale somewhere like everybody else, seventy-five or something. Okay, let me rephrase the question. Do you feel the pain of others when they are in pain? Yeah, man. I think that's what I'm, my, my headache. I think that's what's happening right now. Like, my neck, this tension. I think it's, like, global, like, human, animal. Everybody's, like, suffering. I'm just getting a brunt of it. Maybe that's a collective thing, but from, a, from an actual one-on-one -on -one individual thing, are you capable of feeling someone's pain? If somebody's really hurting and they're in front of you, they're crying. Do you feel for them, or do you just try to avoid them at all costs because it would bore you to death? Um, it depends. I can do both, so it depends. But well, what comes naturally? It used to be, well, like when Amanda would cry all the time, and I would look at her, and she would cry, I would stare at her, I would just watch her, or look at her, and listen to her crying, and telling me that I was a horrible person. That it was my fault. Like it was, I would just take it for years, years, and and at a point it was like several months straight, like al almost every day of that behavior for like hours a day, sometimes mo different, different like two hours, and then it's so break, and then a few hours later in the day or something. Um, I kind of decided after that that I wasn't going to take that from people anymore. You believe that she was crying to be manipulative. I don't know if she knew that. But she was telling me that I was a horrible person. As I was sitting there, I mean, I wasn't a, a great 
the best. She would like walk out of the bedroom. It would be like noon or early in the morning or something. I'd be on the computer playing Warcraft with Steve or just on checking my auction house on Warcraft. Sitting there for like probably be on there for an hour. It's my computer that I bought and she wanted maybe she wanted to use the computer. She didn't feel like she was getting enough attention. She'd walk out and, and look at and start crying and tell me and I wouldn't she'd tell me that all she wanted was for me to say things were gonna be okay. But I didn't think things were gonna be okay. So I didn't tell her that. And so I then be started to become a horrible person to her in her eyes. Like I was the root of her anxiety to her. But I and so I actually felt like I was the root of her anxiety. Like I I carried that burden. I think that your relationship with a man is a little too complex, and I don't think people saw all sides of it. And I think that to make assumptions like they do about your relationship with her, based solely on the videos, is unfair. So that can't be the root. Uh, that cannot be the deciding factor on the empathy, because who knows why you couldn't, you know? And I mean, I, I remember there was a point where you were angry at me, and I was crying. Because I was upset. And I was over emotional. I wasn't expecting to be angry at me. And you wanted to walk away because you were mad at me. But that was normal because you were mad at me. I mean, I, I, just because I was crying wasn't going to make you be less angry at me. But I do believe there's a chance that if, if you saw somebody suffering, that you would feel for them. Okay, Rebecca came. Well, the drugs helped me not to feel, that's for sure. When I'm sober, I'm much more empathic and empathetic. Caring. Um, that's for sure. So the weed maybe is making me maybe thinks that I don't have empathy when I'm stoned because I'll just be like, people will be crying and I'll just keep talking. So it seems like I don't care. Okay, let's go to another another uh, symptom that he, they mentioned that that you did uh, that you live on the adoration of others. Do you require the adoration of others? Yeah. You do. I feel like that. Yeah. Do you feel like you're entitled or like you're special and that you're entitled to special privileges more than everybody else? No, I feel like if people don't like me, I'm, I'm going to die. Really? It's a starving yeah. Like, I feel like I need people to like me so I can survive. Do you lie to people to, for them to like you? No, uh, I don't think so. I'm, I'm real poignant about honesty. Sometimes I don't tell people what I'm thinking. So, continuing going on with that, um, um, this whole thing is like, I should have studied that ba better, but uh, actually, you know, they, Edward sent me this, this PDF he made about why he feels that you suffer from this thing, and why he felt, he felt you needed help because of this. And uh, I think that if there's, there's a couple of things uh, that were listed as symptoms that are common to everybody, but he feels that you've demonstrated those symptoms, every one of them, in every single video. I mean, not in every single video, but if you take the bulk of your three years of videos, that you actually suffer from narcissistic personality disorder. Yeah, I Have think, you ever looked it up? Yeah. It's, it's just one of those things. It's like some guy was like, I'm going to take this kind of behavior and make a thing out of it, you know, rather than just being like all the little points of the behavior, because they're all interrelated, you know, or not even related to it. They seem to have made a, a point about these particular symptoms, putting them together and categorizing yeah. that. Like one guy did that, or somebody decided that they wanted to make narcissistic personality. Like people, before that, people were just narcissistic, and then all of a sudden they were like, "No, no, it's a it's a personality disorder. It's a categorized." <laughs> and some people would be narcissistic for five minutes, and then they wouldn't be narcissistic. And how you know? I don't know. Sometimes I think I haven't. Yeah, yeah. Dude, well, you stare in the mirror, dude. You got to. You have to. You got to be aware of yourself and you got to love yourself to succeed. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And here's the thing. And this one's to the comment here, who's now the 2012 report. And here's a question to your comment here. I think it's uh, Rick. Rick, dude. Ah, here's a question for you. If a person who knows no will comes to a uh, play the dance, and he dances around and clicks his ears up in the air because he's a Celt. Why should he come down and hug you and forgive yourself because you're a better dancer? I want to hear your answer to that. Um, just, just when I just thought it was an interesting thought, and I always think about that when I, when I, when I see the commentator's answer. 
But why should you? And should you? No. Mm -mm. And that's exactly my point. So that's as far as I can go with this MPD thing. And I, I, I gotta go. I, I told Maggie I was on my way, so I gotta go. Edward's a fucking narcissistic dick. To do. He thinks he knows other people better than he actually knows them. Like, that's narcissism, isn't it? Yeah. Assumptionism? I mean, is that assumption? APD, dude? Assumptive personality disorder? <laughs> we just created a new one. Let's put that on the books. That horrible? It shouldn't exist, dude. People, the narcissistic tendencies can be cured. Self is an important thing. Self? I don't think narcissism is necessarily a bad thing. Too much narcissism? Yeah. So, i got to cut this down before it's been 10 minutes. that destroy men. I don't know what to blame is of course the women's libers there's the one who started this, this whole insult, uh, insult to mankind because I do feel that um, that uh, to a certain degree that a woman's place is in the kitchen because I would like to you know when I come home uh, after I had spent the day you know providing for her and protecting her that she would come home I mean I would come home to a warm meal as a woman who would love me and keep my bed warm now something has definitely destroyed that. A man, a mindset has destroyed that. Has destroyed that. Oh crap! It's acting up. Okay, that's it.